Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all doing well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something which I haven't done in a very long time and I can't lie, I'm excited. I am so excited. Today I am bringing you a try on haul in celebration of the fact that your girl is down a haul dress size. Yes, I am. <laughs> So if you are new around here or if you just haven't been to my channel in a while then you may not know but I am on a weight loss journey and a huge huge milestone for me is seeing my body change of course becoming stronger feeling healthier but also being able to fit into new clothes and it gives me the perfect reason to update my wardrobe especially as my style is evolving and so today I want to show you some things that I have picked up recently especially from stores which I have never bought from before because they either didn't carry my size or their clothes just didn't feel comfortable on me and so let's get into it the first items I want to show you are from H&M. This is my first ever order from H&M's plus size range. I've bought from H&M Home and stuff like that, but this is the first time I'm buying their clothes, so I was super excited. And I don't know if I'm the only one who falls into this habit, but I don't really have a lot of bottoms. And as I have been rebuilding my wardrobe, I've actually been prioritizing finding some bottoms which I can wear around the house, but also outside, and getting some trousers, skirts, joggers things like that which make me feel cute and comfortable and when I saw these on H&M's website I was super excited to get them so this is the creased leg jersey trouser and it's just this cream most of my clothes are cream they're beige but I do have some color in this fall actually but you're gonna notice I stay in the neutrals the neutrals the earth tones that's a bit of me I got them in a double XL um, which equates to about a UK size 24 26 I believe and they have this elasticated waist and some creases and I think these will be cute to just wear around the house or like qu to quickly go out or something they're not like the thickest item but for a jersey material it's not super thin either you can only slightly see through it so you still definitely have to wear dark undergarments under this but I really like them they are like a straight leg they aren't a skinny leg or anything these were only $17.99 which I think is really cool for like some lounge wear they are quite I wouldn't say a tight fit but they are like fitted definitely size up if you want that more of a loose look but these fit me quite tightly but as I'm <laughs> dropping those pounds girl they will loosen up and that's another thing as I'm buying these clothes I don't want to buy too many things which are oversized right now because I still have a lot of weight to lose but I don't want to have to keep updating my wardrobe every like three months girl we have other bills to pay the next trousers i picked up are these rib trousers now i also picked these up in a 2xl and they are this lovely gray tone um of a neutral but they have like a slight hint of like warmth or like brownie pink to it which i really like yes these are not me being spot on these are a light grade so they will be great to be paired with warm tones and also cool tones because it has that gray but also the warmth of beige so i really like these for a neutral colored item the i love me a good ribbed any if you make it ribbed i'm buying it i love ribbed i feel like it gives it that nice like just it just gives a, a just a little hint of pizzazz. These trousers were a little bit more pricey. They were only £25, however, but they did have a cheeky offer going on um, on the H&M website where I was able to get it for 50% off. So I got these for £12. And these are a lot thicker than the ones that I previously showed you and they are like a bell bottom leg and I really like that I actually am loving flared items and you're going to see a few flared bottoms from me um, in this haul but I really like these trousers and they are like super stretchy and ribbed items tend to have a little bit more give in them because of like depleting so this oh yeah, this is a lovely pair of trousers to like wear at home for lounge wear if you're going out to like the cinema in the evening. If you just want to dress comfy but casual at the same time, definitely get these trousers. They are really nice and they are also very, very long. So I am six foot tall. When I shop, there's a lot of things I actually have to bear in mind. I mean, we've got the bust, we've got the hips, we've got the height, we've got the plus size. And there's a lot going on. These trousers are great for tall girls. Definitely tall girl friendly. Most of the trousers in these halls are as well. So definitely pick these up 
up if you are looking for some casual trousers to put in your wardrobe. Considering that was my first time shopping at H&M, I was definitely very happy with my purchase. I won't say I was pleasantly surprised because I've heard H&M actually has some really good stuff, especially if you're looking for like basics and essentials. And so I look forward to buying from H&M some more. But let us move on to another place which I have bought from, from the for the first time ever, which is I saw it first. Now, I didn't know that I saw it first actually had a plus size range. I had absolutely no clue. Um, and I think I saw it first, like their, their stuff is great if you wanna buy on trend right now clothes, if that makes sense. Things which are like, it made sense last year, but I don't know if it'll make sense this year. However, when I went on their website, I saw some things which I was like, I, I have to pick this up. Plus it's super like, it's, it's giving pretty little thing, but cheaper in pricing. So I got three things from I Saw It First. The first of which is this, let me read out the name because it's kind of long, black and white zebra print, super soft roll neck bodysuit. So this is a lovely bodysuit, which um, has the clasp at the bottom, but you can open it. So it's a clasp, it's not just closed. This is a lovely high neck, bodysuit which you can just tuck into like any jeans or anything like that i find that bodysuits are obviously really in at the moment and this one feels super nice when they say soft material they ain't lying it has this kind of i don't know it kind of feels like a felt or like a velvet just slightly it's not velvet but it has this it's much softer it's definitely not like a cotton like it's 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 nice i like it i like the feel of it it's soft and it's both um it's that way on the inside as well so it feels really nice on the skin it does actually stretch quite nicely i think but i just wish that the neck was just a little bit tighter and i feel this way towards body suits in general especially when they claim that they are high neck they are just never really tight enough for me however it does work so i like this as well and um, it is a little bit see-through so definitely make sure that you are wearing like the right undergarments underneath you can't wear a pink bra under this it's not going to make sense babe the next thing i got from there is actually another bodysuit as well but this one is mesh you can completely see through it sorry the previous bodysuit was 25 pounds um, but I got 50% off surely because I would not spend 25 pounds on that. This is the stone plus size high neck mesh bodysuit. I really, really like the pattern on it. Um, I'm into these, you've seen me wear a top very similar to this, but from ASOS in a chit chat, get ready with me. And I've been loving these kind of classic, um, I can't remember what the design pattern is called, but it's really nice. Like it's really flattering, the slight curves and stuff like that. Like I really like it. And I feel like this would be a timeless kind of pattern because it's also a neutral style. You could wear it like under a blazer, but again, just pair it with some nice trousers or even a skirt. These bodysuits are always great to have on hand. The next item, I can't lie, I'm really excited to show you this dress. This is the Fuchsia plus size knitted open collar side split midaxi dress. It's literally all of those words. So this, look at the color, please. Look at the color, look at the, look at the color. Oh, it's this beautiful blue based pink, like a, a cool pink, um, but it makes it just so like, this is a dress that will flash. If you're not trying to be seen, don't wear this dress. This dress is definitely given, look at me, hold my gaze for three seconds, look away, buy me a drink. This is such a lovely dress. Now, as a tall girl, I would say that this is more so giving mid-axi, but more so on the midi side. But if you are shorter, I think it would come down to a much nicer, like longer length on you. I really like this because of the collar, the color, and it's ribbed on brand. This material isn't too thick but it's not very see-through so it's it's still a safe amount like of material but it's not like quality it's not like a heavy knit this would be great for spring summer going on holiday i really want to go to a hot country um very soon for a holiday so i'm going to bring this dress along with me also i think it stretches out so well like look at this it stretches out so well so it can fit your form. You're definitely going to have to wear shapewear if you are a shapewear wearer, um, because it will show everything, like absolutely everything. However, I just really like it. The only thing I don't like about this dress is, <sighs> so the neck is not a 
good v-neck for me it's not it doesn't come to a point it kind of scoops and i don't know if that's because like i said i've got a bigger bust area or just generally it's not cut the right way because even holding it it doesn't come to a v and i like a good v-neck but i need it to come to a v do you get what i mean whereas this is giving more of a scoop i'm not i don't hate a scoop but it's sitting in between a v and a scoop it's like decide what you want to be overall shy it's nice but i want to wear these with like some gold heels i just just feel like it's gonna bang this dress was 35 pounds but again i got 50 percent off and i got them i got it in a size 24 i got all of my uh i got the two bodysuits in a size 24 as well i cannot wait to wear it out i really can't the next place that i well i've got like lint everywhere the next place that i ordered from was actually misguided now i've never placed an order from the misguided website i have got one dress in my wardrobe which is from misguided it's this lovely turtleneck ribbed midi dress um but i got that on asos and it fits really really nicely but i saw more of what they have to offer when i went directly to their site and go misguided gets it <laughs> the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't and misguided is one of the girls that gets it so i placed this order for a matching set and this is the plus contrast stitch denim this is the jean and I also got the matching jacket. Now, because this is denim, I did actually pick these both up in a UK size 26. And I really, really do like this set. However, it is a little bit tight for me. I can wear the shirt. I can wear the, it's like a jacket, jacket, shirt kind of thing. Um, so you can wear it on top of like a t-shirt or a bodysuit even, um, and you can wear it by itself as a shirt. However, the jeans are just a little bit tight around my booty, okay, and the top of my thighs. So I will kind of hold off wearing these because I can't sit down comfortably. I can close them, but I can't sit down real comfortable. And that's because they have absolutely no no stretch like there's no stretch in these jeans whatsoever so i would just say be mindful of that definitely get your actual size or size up this is like a really cool speckled denim speckled denim like it has these really dark dots well not really dark but it has these dark dots running through the material and i thought that that was actually a really cool detail instead of having them just be pure cream it kind of has this textured look to it which yeah i like i like it a lot now this actually has like a raw hem to it and it is more of a straight leg than it is a skinny one these have like a frayed hem to it as well so i'm just hoping oh yeah no you can pull the phrase child so be careful i also like that these have silver hardware now i am more of a gold hardware girl however i am trying to double more into styling silver because i feel like it would still look fantastic on me having these silver buttons will actually be nice um to rock with it and i actually think it does suit the style of the material because even though it is a cream it is more of a cool tone cream so i like that it's not really a beige like it's, i like it a lot the next thing i picked up from misguided is this plus rib high neck cutout bodysuit in the shade or the shade the color stone and i got this in a uk size 24 i really love the way that it fits on me this neck is a little bit wide in my opinion but it still works out nicely and it has this lovely fluttering flattering cut out at the chest area but it doesn't go too low to reveal too much cleavage and it does show just a little bit of collarbone i really like it i really like where the cut out is it has like a waffle material it is textured i'm not the biggest fan of the texture of this top um however it's close to ribbed it will grow on me and i don't have many things in this texture either and texture is just a nice way to add some extra pizzazz to an outfit um again it's a bodysuit but it does clip at the bottom i'm not going to be clipping it though but i love this i love the color as well it's stone but it's more of a stone to me is more cool tone than this this is more like a, a salmon pink like this is blush do you get but i like it i like it but it's giving blush nude than stone. I got this in a size 24 and I got this bodysuit for £14.40, which I think is really good. And the last thing I picked up from Misguided is this plus size sage plain boxy jacket. So this is, I wouldn't call this a jacket though, because this is like kind of heavy. 
you can't wear this as a shirt. I mean, I wouldn't wear this as a shirt. Maybe if it's cold, if you live in Canada. Green is quickly, I said this on Instagram recently, green is quickly becoming one of my favorite colors. This jacket is gorgeous. It's really nice. It fits really nice as well. I got this in a size 24 and I can button it up and everything. So it fits really nice and comfortably. You may even want to size down if you want a bit of a tighter fit. It has deep pockets as well on the front. It has these really nice like I guess you could almost call them tortoiseshell um, buttons but they complement the green really nicely green is really in right now as a color I've been loving it and like I said I think it would be amazing in spring especially when the days are getting warmer but the evenings are still kind of cold this would be a great thing to wear on top of like a very neutral outfit or even a black outfit or a brown one um yeah neutral tones I really love this I really do now when it comes to shopping for plus size clothes for me I always know ASOS is going to have my back I feel like ASOS has a huge variety of plus size clothing especially because alongside making their own brands of clothes they are also a marketplace and they show you loads of different brands so I picked up some items from there starting off with this tracksuit now if there's anything about me you've already seen it I like a good co-ord I love a good tracksuit because you can just make a full outfit very quickly just put on a top and a matching bottom and you look put together this is so soft I got it in the shade well I got shit what this ain't a makeup a video I got it in the color gray but it's like a mild gray so it has like light grays dark grays in there so it has a bit of texture it's not one flat color which I like as well but the inside feels so soft and I love a tracksuit that you can put on at home and just feel comfortable in I got these in a size 24 and it is still oversized on me it has this like I, I mean I don't really care for these pockets but it has the pocket that is like it's just one you can put your hand all the way through it and think Things just fall out of it but I love love this and the matching joggers are really nice as well it does have a cuffed ankle and it has a drawstring which we love to see it this is just a great basic there is lint everywhere <laughs> this is just a great basic to have in your wardrobe they actually have loads of other colors I don't know if it will be the same um softness and the same quality but this will definitely keep you warm i also picked up these wide leg trousers this is when the wide leg trousers yeah there's a there's a few more coming these wide leg trousers from asos are in the shade bitter chocolate and it's a really nice gray tone or cool tone brown shade and these are more like a legging they're not really giving trouser but they are not see-through and i love that for us because the days of see-through leggings just let's just leave it in the past so i got these in a size 24 as well also very long as well i wasn't expecting them to be as long as they were you can match these with absolutely anything um just put on some good trainers you can maybe even dress them up with some heels i'm not too sure the crotch is a little long so these are defo like pull them up to your bra kind of trousers but I personally don't mind that at all. So yeah, they are really nice. They're not too, too long. These were only £10.25 and this was an absolute steal and an absolute bargain. These are another pair of trousers, which I also got in a size 24. A lot of these clothes still have the tags on them because I've been waiting till this haul to show you. But these are the kick flare suit trouser in the color wine now this is a color i do not have in my wardrobe i have burgundy but i haven't got anything which is wine and wine goes so well with cream beige even some grays but like warm tone neutrals and I have so many of those, or even white. Like I have so many of those in my wardrobe and I just thought this could pair with anything. They are quite thick as well. They don't stretch too much actually, but it does have a little bit of give in it. The only thing I would say about these is the crotch is a little bit long, um, longer than the last, the bittersweet, uh, the bitter, I wanted to call it bittersweet, the bitter chocolate trousers I just showed you. So definitely hoist them up a little bit um, and they fit the waist really nicely as well now if there's anywhere i could trust myself to find some good quality clothes child especially jeans and like i said i've been looking for bottoms it is river island plus size girls if you don't know about river island's plus size section yet let me put you on river island has a great plus size section 
it's not always on trend, okay? And it's definitely for a bit more of like a mature, you know, it's not for the hot girls. However, when it comes to good quality staple items and classic items, River Islands has never done me wrong and their clothes are an amazing quality. And the one thing I will always go to River Island for pretty much is my jeans. Most of my jeans are from River Island. So this time I picked up two. So I actually, both of these are bell bottoms. Oh, well, flare, flare jeans. And I've never bought their flare jeans before, but mama, when I tell you, baby, these are lovely. And um, these are the... Uh, I don't know the name of them, so I'm gonna put them on the screen or in, everything's going to be linked to the description box, by the way. And they do have a little bit of stretch in them, but I did decide to go for a UK size 26. Now I do wish in these jeans that I actually size down and I might return them uh, and, ex well not return them, exchange them for a 24 because they do have some stretch in these, but these are a lovely classic blue jean with a little bit of like a wash detail or like a distress detail. Um, they look a little bit worn out on like the knee area and also on the booty area. And I really do like these jeans a lot. They are quite a vibrant blue um, and they do have like a frayed hem. Because they have some stretch to them and some give, they just fit the body really nice nicely which is why I want to size down just so it can kind of hug me a little bit and also like hold me in um, but I really like these the waist is really nice as well it does have like a yellow stitch detailing which I'm not always the biggest fan of when it comes to jeans but for these jeans child I'll, I'll, I'll rock with it I did pick up the basically the same version of those jeans but in black but these ones don't have as much of a soft stretch like you stretch them and they come back there's a lot of resistance to these so I'm happy that I got a size 26 in these jeans however in the other ones because the elastic is a bit softer I would size down but these ones like a 26 does well for me again the length of these are fantastic and it is like a dark black it's not gray we don't want gray we want black okay the the bottom of these aren't frayed they are like slightly cuffed like normal jeans would be they fit really nicely the hardware is actually gold the button and the zip are gold and they have real pockets so that's always great on the front and the back so those are the jeans that I picked up from River Island and I did actually pick up two more items I picked up this lovely jumper this is like a really cool color blocking jumper and I really like how this is it's just a really nice casual jumper basically <laughs> your girl was about to get glasses and I just thought this would look so cute with like glasses, your hair pulled back, some nice like jeans or like a trouser and some boots. I don't know why I have this vision in my head, but when I saw this jumper and it also, it was on sale. When I saw this jumper, I was like, I really like it. The only thing is I got this jumper in a size 24. Sis, you need to size down. I should have gotten a size 22, but I can't really be bothered to return it. And even though it is a bit big because it has a ribbed turtleneck, the neck isn't too loose, so I like this jumper. I think it's really nice, it's really comfortable. Um, you can style it up, style it down, quick outfit out, and it has a balloon sleeve. And if there's anything about me, I love me a ribbed and I love me a balloon sleeve, okay? So this is great as well. The last thing I picked up from River Island was actually in the sale section, and it's, oh, I'm so happy with this purchase because I've wanted this for a very long time. And that is a cream slash white satin shirt. This is so nice. This is so nice. And it's not like cheap satin. This is like silk, like this is giving, I'm thick, I'ma last you a long time. I saw Chanel Ambrose actually talking recently about getting you a good like silk shirt or a satin shirt. And then I saw this and I was like, <laughs> now is my time to shine. So this is a creamed satin shirt and it's not like a shiny satin, but you can definitely tell she is silky, okay? This is a great, I got this in a size 26. It is a little bit big, I won't lie. However, you can definitely, like, I would definitely tuck it in. Um, but I would say, get your actual size, do not size up. Cause I sized up cause it was all that was left. Um, maybe it'll come back in stock for you, but I, I doubt it. So <laughs> if it is in stock, I'll link it down below. Definitely check it out. I'm so happy I got this. And even though it is a little bit big and I won't be able to wear it for maybe the longest time, I will enjoy it whilst I can wear it. Um, it has a pocket, 
I don't really care for the pocket on the chest, but it's their shirt. I mean, I'm happy with the overall shirt. This shirt just feels expensive and I like that. That is all with the clothes. And now I'm just going to show you some accessories which I got from ASOS and also from John Lewis. So I actually picked up some heels from ASOS. Now, girl, the tea on the streets. I have big feet. I have really big feet. Like I said, I'm six foot tall. I'm plus size. My feet are wide, okay? But also, I'm tall. To keep me balanced, my feet are big, okay? Don't judge me. I could kick your ass. I am a UK size 10 in my feet. I don't really like wearing heels, but for a long time, heels weren't really made in my size anyway, so it didn't really bother me. However, ASOS has expanded their sizes in their shoes, and a lot of their shoes, whether they are wide fit or not, actually do come in a up to a UK size 13, which is really good for us tall babes, big footed babes. So I picked up these black mules from ASOS, and these are the Nars. Nausea, nausea, nausea. Now I did get these in a size 12 and girl, I'm gonna explain the T on there in a second, but these are lovely square toe shoes um, and they are just, they're just nice. And it has that kind of fluted heel at the bottom. I haven't taken off the sticker yet. They have these fluted heel at the bottom that's giving Amina Mawadi, um, but a little bit slimmer. And that's great, especially if you are plus size, because it means that the weight is kind of distributed and you're not walking on this really skinny, flimsy heel. Um, I love these. These straps actually do have a little bit of give. They have like a little stretchy thing on the inside. These are not wide fit shoes and not every uh, shoe on ASOS, which goes up to a UK 13, comes in wide fit. However, I do have wide feet. So when I find a shoe which isn't wide fit, and to be honest, even most of their shoes, I will go up two sizes. Now, when it comes to flat shoes, if they are wide fit, then I'll get my size. If they aren't wide fit, I will go up to a UK size 11. But if it's healed, I found that a UK size 12 is the most comfortable for me. And it means that my feet aren't hanging off the back and they're not even on the edge. They sit very comfortably in the shoe. I would try these on for you, but I need to do my nails. I need, I need a pedicure. And I'm not gonna lie, as transparent as I am on the internet, I can't set myself up like that, I can't. So these are lovely, they are ASOS design. They would go well with anything. These are heels that you can wear with anything. Now, whilst on ASOS, I actually decided to pick up two pairs of trainers. I really did treat myself last week. I picked up some trainers from New Balance. I've actually never bought trainers from New Balance before. However, when I saw these, I remember that I've actually seen a few of the girls on Instagram styling these really, really nicely. New Balance 327s or 327s, 27s. I don't know how they say it in the sneaker world. The first of which is this off-white and burgundy and girl, this trainer is cute. When did they get scuffed? Because I ain't scuff them. I ain't wore these before. Why are these trainers scuffed? Oh no, we don't like that. We don't like that. Yo, you are going back. They're like a little bit scuffed on the inside, but these trainers are so nice. There's something about the brown sole that comes up that just gives them a nice like warmth to it. And I love this again. It's like that, oh, these will go so nicely with these trousers. Oh yeah. They are a UK size 10. And then alongside getting the burgundy, I actually got the, okay. On the website, it's called white. This ain't white. The suede is gray and the New Balance logo is almost green. And these shoes, even the inside is green, like it's a sage green, which I love, it's spot on. And I just thought that this is a great neutral pair of trainers, which you can pair, like I said, with anything. So I wanted to get both of these in my wardrobe just to wear as everyday trainers, but also trainers which I could style up if I wanted to. I love me a good trainer, so I'm going to be buying more of those. And last, but certainly not least, I actually picked picked up a bag from John Lewis. Now, I love me a good bag, I really do. And I really wanna work my way up to buying luxury bags and keeping them, but I actually want to just work my way up towards it. And I saw that John Lewis was having a sale because they sent me an email after I bought some pillows from there. This bag is by Charles and Keith, or it's from Charles and Keith. And this is the front. I just, firstly, 
the shape, okay? This, this is a lovely shape, and I've never seen this kind of shape before. It's definitely a lovely sized medium bag. You can fit quite a few things in here, but it's not that big and it's not that thick either. Gold hardware, it's really nice, good quality hardware. It's not super heavy, but it's not like, it doesn't feel like a toy. And you've obviously got the body strap as well, which actually does fit cross body around me as a plus size woman, which is great. And you've just got these lovely details, like the zip detailing and even the clasp that the cross body strap has attached to it is like a really nice like C shape, um, which I, I just love it. I just love it. It is this lovely sage green color, but it is a darker sage green color. And I just, I really like it. I just, it's a bit of me. So this is faux leather, but it feels really nice. Um, it feels like this bag would last you a very long time as long as you treated it well. I also love that it's not like a complete round bottom. It does have the logo on the back, but I love that it's not a completely round bottom. So you can actually sit this bag up. This bag originally retailed for a £85. However, it was reduced to clear and was brought down to £51 and I really like it. I really do. I've never heard of the brand Charles and Keith before, but if this is the kind of bags that they're making, child, they're going to see me a little bit around. Woo, okay, so that was a lot of stuff to get through and I actually ordered more stuff than this and I'm going to be returning some stuff which I've already set aside. But I wanted to show you the things that I am keeping and the pieces that I am adding to my wardrobe. I really do hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. All the links to everything that I have shown you as long as it's still being sold will be in the description box below. Tell me what your favorite items were and if you are a plus size babe, tell me where I should shop and look for some great pieces to add to my wardrobe collection. I will talk to you very soon and as always, stay beautiful and stay blessed. Mwah.